Hey everybody and welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island. I'm a Nick Bane and the last one we went into the uh, showroom and saw the, 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 the booty. So we're going to dive into the deep water here and see if we can't find a way into where the booty is. Kind of dark down here. Oh, there's bioluminescent fish. Okay, let's see if we can trap one of them. Uh, well, we happen to have a piece of bait here. Well, and some and uh, some scupperware. Now my bait will stay fresh. My bait will stay fresh. It's a good thing Guybrush can hold his breath so long. All right, so now we need to wait until the fish come closer and try and catch one. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yes, we got one. Ha! Now we have a flashlight. Wow, my voice just echoed. I must have been really loud. Ooh, a cave. Let's go into the cave. Ha ha! We found it. Whew. It's a good thing I can hold my breath for ten minutes. I know, Guybrush. Ah. Uh, pick up this. Pick up all this stuff. Whole lot of stuff. Hey, something just fell out of the chest. A tiny screw. I'll bet it goes to Pegnose's prosthetic nose. Now I can clear the good name of Guybrush Streetwood. Okay, put that away and pick up the screw. Alright, now we need to get out of here. Deep cave. Okay, we got our flashlight. Let's, uh... I already have something in there. Oh. Head up to the surface. Alright. Guybrush. Go back to Lucar Island. Alright, we don't need to stop there. We just need to go directly to the prison. Okay. Where was the prison? The prison was this way, was it not? Yes, it is. The Hall of Justice. Let's go in there and give him that screw. Oh, sir! We have a present for you. Jesus, Guybrush, walk around him. Don't push the poor man. I recovered the stolen loot. Am I free now? That doesn't mean you didn't steal it. Alright, um... Oh, Inspector, I think you'll find this interesting. What's this? It looks like a tiny screw. I think you'll find it goes with a nose I gave you earlier. Oh, you do, do you? What makes you so sure, eh? It won't prove a thing. Quiet, you. Well then, perhaps we should give it a try. Oh, still you. Quiet, you. Well, I'll be. Let, let's see that screw. It doesn't fit. Quiet, you! If the nose fits, you must acquit. I've never seen that screw before in my life. Quiet, you! Well, all right, then. I guess your name's been clear. Let's see that leg of yours. Oh, um, right. <laughs> the anklet thingy. Hold on. Maybe I should do a background check on you. Just because you didn't rob the bank doesn't mean you aren't wanted for other more heinous crimes. Hi! He stole a duck! Quiet, Quiet you. you! On the other hand, Without the stigma of felonious robbery hanging over your head, you seem pretty harmless. 
So, off you go. Hey, was that an insult? <laughs> Oh shit. Done paying your debt to society, Otis? Ha freaking ha. Time to make sales, <laughs> shipmates. Thank God. I hate this repressive place. Yeah, I was getting kind of bored. We can't. I have more repairs to make. <laughs> Just kidding. Ship's ready. Excellent. Well, that trip seems like there was a little less drama. All right, mateys, stay here and watch the ship while I go into town. Yeah, you guys stay here while uh, Guybrush and I check out the flora. If you get to go, I get to go. Scumbar, here I come! Hey, if anyone here gets to go to the scumbar, it's me. Hey, <clears throat> please stay here and guard the ship. I'll be back soon. Jeez, we were just kidding. We were. This can't be right. I'm afraid it is, Governor. Charles L. Charles' Good Times Free Grog campaign has given him a 23% lead in all the polls. But... Honey, I'm home. Guybrush, uh, you're back. Yes, and look what I've got. Uh, oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, Guybrush, this is wonderful! Esteban, take these papers down to Melee Town Hall and save my mansion. Oh, Guybrush, I am so glad you're back. What took you so long? Well, that's a funny story. It all started when I went looking for the no-nosed pirate. And then Ozzy said, I'm gonna put your shrimp on me, Bobby. After that, I was attacked by an army of koalas. And so the lawyers used the Marley Mansion deed to drop the legal papers to save the mansion. And I came back here. Well, seems like the sensible thing to do would be to destroy my grandfather's heirloom so that no one could get their hands on the ultimate insult. Whatever that is. I agree. Got a match? <laughs> Charles, you manipulating weasel. Get out of my house before I stick my piranha poodles on you. Yipes. No, now, my dear Mrs. Marley. Three point. Is that any way to talk to the next governor of Melee Island? I don't care what the polls say. The pirates of Melee will see through your tissues of false hopes and empty promises. <laughs> the pirates of Melee couldn't see through a window. They can't even see what's right in front of them. What are you talking about? Why, only the biggest lie of them. LeChuck! LeChuck! At your service. Enough of this inane banter. I've got an election to win. <laughs> How do you expect to be elected once I tell everyone you're really LeChuck? Go ahead, tell them. Shout it from the rooftops. It will only ensure my victory. And once I'm elected, I'll use my gubernatorial powers to divine the secrets of the ultimate insult. Huh? You heard me. The ultimate insult. With its unholy power, I'll make the seas run red with the blood of my enemies. I'll bring the forces of hell to the shores of the Caribbean. And I'll finally make Elaine my willing bride. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. I'm confused. About what? So we got bad news bears all around. What do your grandfather's heirlooms have to do with all of this? I don't know. How can LeChuck be alive? Relatively speaking, of course. I don't know. Well, I've got a plan. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what is it? Why don't I run for governor while you try to figure out the mysteries of the ultimate insult? Hmm. That's close, but I've got a better idea. I'll redouble my efforts to keep LeChuck out of the governor's mansion which should be a lot easier now that I know he's really an evil undead demon from heck. In the meantime, why don't you do everything you can to stop Ozzy and LeChuck from getting their hands on the ultimate insult? 
Or whatever that is. Uh, okay. How? If I were you, honey, I'd talk to the voodoo lady. She always seems to know about these things. But... Have fun fighting the bad guy, Schnookums. Alright, looks like we got something to do. So this is what it's like being a first lady. <laughs> oh, Guybrush, you're silly. Alright, so it looks like in the next one we're going to go talk to the voodoo lady. And whoa! And see if she can uh, tell us what to do about this whole ultimate insult shenanigans. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I've been Enigbane, and I will see you next time. Bye! Ha! Now we have a flashlight. Wow, my voice just echoed. That must have been really loud. Ooh, a cave. Let's go into the cave.